race number 12 of the Craftsman Truck Series Championship. Green flag is in the air. Ty Majeski, Ben Rhodes side by side. The teammates battle all the way down into turn one. They've got a lot of pressure from behind, but good start. Wow. Big squeeze there by Nick Sanchez down into turn one. It's amazing, amazing how important these restarts and starts are now, Michael. And I think there might have been some damage from the truck he got into. And look, they're going to split it up three wide into turn three. Stuart Friesen down on the bottom of that red 52 truck. Caution out, lap number one. Let's see what the caution is for. There it is right there, the 32. That's oh, Brett Holmes. And there's the 95 of Clay Greenfield as well. Big damage to Clay's truck. Brand new team for Clay this week. The right front damage on that number 95. Right rear as well. Heather, what are you hearing? Well, hearing Clay on the radio right now, he said he thinks that the battery became disconnected during this incident, so he's not able to refire the truck. So right now they're making a decision on whether or not they need to bring him down on the hook. But tough break here for a brand new team in this series. You can see how long that patch lasts, Phil. It looked kind of weird the way they did it, but so far so good. I want to know what he means by take care of it. Well, you might find out in a bit. Green flag in the air once again. Ty Majeski on the outside. Ben Rhodes, and they're trying to make it three wide once again behind him. A good push by the blue and white truck of Christian Eckes. Gets Majeski out front. Ooh, nice exit there by Rhodes to get ahead of Eckes. Can he swing up, or will Eckes use the momentum on the high side to get back there? Eckes actually is able to clear Ben Rhodes as they get down to turn three. Zane Smith sneaking his nose in there underneath Stuart Friesen. Sounds like Dean Thompson is finished for the day. Just saw them pushing the truck back to the garage. And we have another issue here for the 34, Stephen Malazzi. Everything is dead. All the cages are dead. I have nothing right now. I'm down. I need you to cycle the power. We're going to try to walk him through cycling it, but if the battery's dead, I mean, there's no cycling it. NASCAR will have to go out and retrieve Steven. It's going to be a shootout for stage number one. Green flag is in the air. Grant Enfinger, Matt DiBenedetto, Jack Wood holds up his teammate Chase Purdy going into turn one. Grant Enfinger hangs on. Here comes Majeski from the second row. Good exit off the corner for Grant Enfinger. Very good exit, Phil. That's a great call. Look at that mess in the back, all spread out. One more corner for Enfinger to hold him off. Right, cool. You're clear. You're clear. Just watch for him cross over here. Grant Enfinger so comes out of turn four. He leads Ty Majeski. Green and white checker is in the air. Grant Enfinger wins stage one. Great job by Grant Enfinger. We saw how fast the 98 was, but he was able to get the job done. We've got good news, good news and bad news for Grant Enfinger. If he pits now, he's going to lose all that track position, but he did get the stage win. <laughs> all right, pit stops in the books. Stage number two upon us. Ty Majeski, Ben Rhodes, Zane Smith, and Tanner Gray. Look at that dive by Stuart Friesen to the inside into turn one. How about ben Matt Rhodes. Crafton? Where'd Matt Crafton come from? Remember, he started this race in the back, that bright yellow truck making his way forward. Battle for seventh right now. Chase Purdy looked down on the inside of Crafton, squeezed him out. Look at Zane running that higher line than we've seen all day. Can he make that work? We saw that higher line work last year. We haven't seen many people up there, as you mentioned, Michael, but Zane's going to try to make a go of it. Oh, a little bit of a bump there. Did Ty just get loose? Got it for the lead right here. Christian Eckes has had his issues today, but he wants a piece of this. Side by side they go. Zane Smith wants to lead. Christian Eckes coming with him down the backstretch into turn three. Jeske's not going to want to give that lead up. He was going to, ooh, a little bit of contact there. Yeah, Eckes got loose on the bottom there, and Gray slid into him. Wow. 98 is stout, isn't he, Phil? Mm, sure is. 
Tyama Jeske's going to rally back and grab the lead away from Zane. What a textbook pass that was. Just get the throttle a little bit quicker up off of turn four. Get your nose underneath the other truck and beat him down into turn number one. Rajas trying to squeeze to the inside there, but look behind him. See, Norm doesn't really stay next to the bottom. Obviously, Brett Holmes is going to try to get by on the inside. The 0-2 of Chris Hacker runs in the back of Jack Wood and turns him into the inside wall. Yeah, Hacker got a hold of Wood and just didn't let go. But Norm was up the hill, you're right. Just, ooh, and he clipped Norm, too, as he went by. See what? Hacker saw from his and maybe listen to his throttle as well because as you mentioned he got against the 51 of Jack Wood and, and never turned him loose. I, I think just a misjudgment race his way back up through there you see him back in the 15th spot. As green flag waves once again, Christian Eckes on the front row with Ty Majeski once again. Ben Rhodes holding tight there in the outside line. Stuart Friesen, top five all day for him, and they're three wide once again behind him. Uh, Christian Eckes goes way down to the inside, trying to get away from Ty Majeski. Nick Sanchez in that two in the top five and driving underneath Ben Rose. They're side by side for the lead. Eckes got loose, got into Majeski. Stuart Friesen just mentioned top five all day. He takes the lead for the first time today as there's a heck of a battle heating up behind him. Nick Sanchez gets around. Ty Majeski tries to take that second spot, doesn't quite clear him yet. The 24 of Raja Karuth here on the replay. Whoa. That was a that, big lift. That's Zane Smith, I think, right behind him as well. That was a big save, I'll tell you. He kept it heading the right direction. That was impressive. And Zane was really glad he kept it in the right direction also. What about Stuart Friesen today? He'd only led three laps this year <laughs> until today. Oh, oh, trouble. 66 goes around. That's Connor Jones. Oh. down to the bottom underneath Matt De Benedetto and just got squeezed a little bit ran out of room got into Matt a little bit. Yeah that was a, a mistake a late dive as you said Phil. truck series the end of stage two just took place it looks like they're still working on Jack Woods truck we had all kinds of things happening there in the last 10 minutes but in the end it was Stuart Friesen picking up his first stage win of the season Ty Majeski Nick Sanchez Christian Eckes Ben Rhodes Matt Crafton Grant Enfinger who won stage one Tanner Gray Daniel Dye and then Taylor Gray and Ty Majeski back there in the 21st position his green flag in the air once again. It's Grant Enfinger leading him into turn one. Well, there was a bunch of them that wanted to pull out of line. Yeah, they're three wide. They're, they're really wanting to dive bomb <laughs> into turn one. And for some reason, they all decided that that wasn't a good idea, and that's why we're still green. <laughs> we have two women in the field today. Haley Deegan in the 13. Tony Breidinger making her second start in the Craftsman Truck Series. She's running 11th right now. Look at the strong move for Daniel Dye through the center of the corner. Is able to drive up. On Our next race at Nashville, five hundred thousand dollars. That's a half a minutes. million dollars. That's a That's half a amazing. million. Amazing, half a million. Oh, trouble! Around goes Taylor Gray in the seventeen. Oh, Caution is out for the sixth time here at St. Louis. He did an awesome job of get back in the throttle, getting those rear wheels going forward to keep that truck from backing in the wall. You can see if there's any contact at all, it's minimal. Great job by Taylor Gray. Oh, he just gets in a little high, doesn't he, Phil? Yeah. And then he had to try to stay off of Sanchez and just made a bit of a mistake you, there. You can see the front of the truck really dip down like he got on the brakes a little extra hard there. Daniel Dye spent more time up in the top five today than he has in any race in the truck series thus far. Now he's just hoping no one dives out on him. 
They fan out behind him. Four wide as they head into turn one. Oh, Christian Eckes with the shove in the 52. That's Taylor Gray there got hit. And here's what we were worried about. Look at Zane Smith. He gets to the outside of Grant Enfinger now, and it's three wide behind them. Zane Smith to the outside, tries to get around the 23 and take the lead. Can he make it stick? We've seen Zane use that outside move before, and he looks like he's got a chance of maybe taking the lead here from Grand Infinger. Look at that pack of snarling trucks down in toward turns one. Nose to nose for the lead here at St. Louis. Tyler Ingram behind him just waiting, watching. Nice power move by Zane Smith to grab that lead from the outside. Grants trying to fight back on the inside. Great battle up front. There's battles all over the oh. way back on the side. Haley Deegan gets a shove. She'll bring out the caution as she slams the outside wall in turn three. The break. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Watch Nick there with, with a two truck. Right there, right there was just a little bit of touch on the right rear corner, it looked like. Yeah, that totally avoidable. I, I don't know if he didn't, she didn't drive in as far as he thought she might, but uh, you can't just run over someone. Wow, watch watch this Sanchez. hit here. That's just all four tires up off the ground. Remember, we saw forward. speeds upward to 165 miles an hour down into the corner. Good to see Haley walk away. Flag in the air again. Daniel Dye still fighting on that bottom, trying to get a move here on Grant. Oh, he's in there pretty deep. Getting some great experience for the young rookie running out front with his teammate. Matt DiBenedetto in the 25 on the second row, trying to make a move to take that third spot. Grant wants to take care of Daniel as much as he can, being his teammate, but he doesn't want to get the lead up. Ben Rhodes in the 99 was going backwards. Man, if I'm Daniel, I might just roll off right here, get behind my teammate, and grab that spot just like that. Oh, oh don't pull out. Don't pull out. He wants to take the lead. Rex to the inside, going into turn one. Side by side they go. It's really hard to do what Daniel's doing, fight that truck on the inside. Stay behind him, Daniel. Give him a push. I'll drive away and decide if that's possible. Majeski got by Daniel Dye for that second spot. There's Majeski and Daniel. They're about three and a half seconds behind, 3.7 seconds behind our leader, Grant Infinger, right now. That's the call to pit road. First gear, 4,300. Oh, oh, how about Zach that timing? Around. The caution comes out just before Grant Enfinger was about to pit. Now they say, stay out, Grant, stay out. Save all you got, save all you got. Oh, the 33 of Josh Rahim just Josh slid up. Rahim just, yeah, just never quite turned into the corner. Zane Smith for front row motorsports. Nice restart for him. Stuart Friesen jumps to the inside, tries to make it three wide. What a block by Carson Hosevar. He wasn't having any of that. And Stuart made the decision. I'm not going to wreck you. Yeah. But yeah. I guarantee you that he's going to remember what happened. I'm just so impressed with what Carson Hosevar has been able to do. Bailey Curry goes around. That brings out the caution for the ninth time. Just a little more insurance for Zane Smith. The Craftsman trucks, 20 to go. Boy, there was a lot of tire spinning going on. Zane Smith on those older tires. Carson Hosevar on the bottom. Side by side, they go out of two. Big run off turn two for Zane Smith. Nice job exiting. What will Stuart Friesen do? He's going to jump to the outside of Hosevar. Hosevar put the block on Stuart. Brandon oh. Finger in the yellow number 23. Heather just talked about it. They gave him that pep talk. He's Stuart. doing well. Stuart was slipping and sliding up there on the high side, but he made it stick and he rolls into the third spot. Ty Majeski side by side with Carson Hosevar, and he gets it. Majeski to the third spot. Uh oh, let's do it all again. What do you and say? And there's smoke. Caution is out. Tenth time here at St. Louis. Ah, uh, yeah. Slid up, made contact with Matt Mills in the 20 truck. 
Timmy Hill did a nice job getting stopped. Green flag in the air. Great restart once again for the 38. And they fan out four wide heading into turn one. It was not a great restart for Enfinger. That's why Osibar got pulled alongside by Friesen. Look at Majeski. Majeski on the move. Holy cow, what a move off turn two. We know how good that 98 truck spent all day. Look at Enfinger, who's going to make it three wide. Oh, 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 they both wreck. Ty Majeski gets into Zane Smith. Caution comes out. New leader, Graham Enfinger. And Christian Eckes up to second. What a turn of events here with five laps to go. About all day long, how they were going to get char hard, charge harder and harder. He lost that truck way early in the corner. Maybe just got in a little too deep. Just barely nudged Zane, but Zane couldn't do anything about it. Green flag in the air. Christian Eckes hasn't led a lap yet today. He wants to change that here. See how good a run off the corner. Grant gets a great run off the corner. He has him cleared. Now he's Grant's just hoping everybody can make it back to this white flag. Look at Friesen down on the bottom of Hosevar there. Battle for third. Friesen's going to grab it. About Purdy in four, uh, fifth. Jesse Love in sixth. Great stories throughout. White flag is in the air. Next flag will end it, whether it's caution or checkers. Brandon Finger, turning point was Kansas about a month ago during this five race stretch, and they have been on the gas. Got his first win of the season at Kansas. Momentum is a thing. Today, he's been on it. Has led 64 laps. Christian Eckes doesn't want it to end. Tries to push the issue. Grant Enfinger comes out of turn four. Checkered flag in the air. Grant Enfinger wins it at Gateway. You might have some trucks spun out off the two here. They were wrecking coming out of Turn four, we're told caution is out, but Grant Enfinger Everybody. gets the job done. Good job by those boys. And Grant Enfinger celebrates with the fans. Regan Smith is with the winner.